arts teacher for the Performing and Visual Arts Magnet School. And this is the beautiful work of our visual arts students. This year's theme for our school is Mount Vernon Scott Talent. And we are going to be looking as visual artists at the work of artist Michael Escoffrey, Jamaican born artist who lives and works in Mount Vernon. Hello. My name is Jamie Powell, and my age is 12, and my minor is visual arts. All right. Okay, so this artist is named Michael Escoffrey. He is um, from, he's originally from Jamaica, and he came to Mount Vernon to do some of his artwork. So this one is called Love Letters. When I think about Michael Scoffrey, I think that he's like a very creative and very natural and relative and very traditional about his art. My name is Michaela. I am in ninth grade, 13, I'm 13 years old. And the name of my painting is called Lean On Me by Michael Scoffrey. For the painting, you have to use a technique called scrambling. It's like when you take different colors of paint and then you mix it together to make like a scrambled effect. The other techniques that we learned is like how to mix paints to make paints either lighter or darker. And we also learned how to like use our lines and basic shapes to start off our paintings. Hi, I'm Esther Mentor and I am 13 years old. And this is my artwork and it's called Salsa Rouge. It is by Michael Scoffrey, who is an African American artist who, knows, who is from Mount Vernon. Um, throughout this art piece, it took some time, and it was a little bit challenging because I had to figure out the skin tones and the warmth of his colors, and I had to help fix the skins and hair and all the colors. Were. It was a little confusing, but I was able to manage with the help of my friends. I also enjoyed doing it a lot, and I'm glad that I had I was able to experience this. This painting is called Cassandra by Michael Sofi. Okay. That's the get that shit. that we're making So the main thing I learned about this painting is how to scumble, blending in different colors. Around here is where a bunch of yellow and orange and a brown. Around here also. I had a little trouble over here, but I managed to get it looking right. And then the face. I had a struggle um trying to make it look lighter. And the blush right here, I'm adding red and brown and some yellow so it can look like it has blush. My name is Holina and my grade is sixth grade and my major is art. During the process of making the reproduction of this painting by Michael Oxfordry, we only had probably a quarter of the time that the artist had to make this. The kind of techniques that we used is a up and down technique. So we didn't want it to be all over the place. So we wanted it to look straight and flat because you don't want too many bumps on your paper. I use those kind of techniques on the dress and on the face here. And I use some on the earring and I use the dotting technique to get the colors and the sparkles in. And I use the same technique for the flowers. I really like the school. It's a really nice place to really express yourself in art, in all your other majors. It's like, I never had this kind of like experience before because I only, I always have been in like a normal public school. When I grew up after college and stuff, I want to be a sketch artist for the police station, so like, if like they like have something going on, like a robbery or something, and they describe it to me, I can actually sketch it out. And maybe like, maybe something else too, being an art teacher or something. Alright. My name's Khalil Randall. I'm in 8th grade. I'm an art major. And my painting is a picture of Michael Scoffrey. I decided to do a portrait of Michael Scoffrey because I felt like I could... I could recreate him and like because 
he was a good artist and, and me wanting to grow up to be an artist, I wanted to draw him to show respect to him. <laughs> so I used scumbling to do his face and a lot of the shading because his face isn't just going to be one color, it's going to be a plethora of different colors. And like I would take a couple of different colors and put it on him and then I would start to merge the colors together as I'm painting it. Well, I chose art as my major because it's been something, art is something that's gone through, that's been throughout my family a lot. Right, like my grandfather was an artist, my aunt's an artist, and my cousin is an artist. Mm. My name is Jordan Webb, and sure. I made this reproduction of Michael Scott's work. It's called Table with Wine. I don't know, it's mostly abstract, okay. so everything's disoriented. Like the bottle, it's supposed to be connected here, but it's not. It's supposed to go across. And then there are lines going through all objects, the chairs, they're supposed to be disoriented too. Like, they look different from one another. I chose art as a major because I love to draw and I love to paint. And I would draw a lot when I'm at home. And my dad, he made a painting once and I never knew that he was an artist. And it looked really good. That's when I found out I, it might have been where it came from and that's why I decided art as my major and what I'd like to do. I've been told that Michael Escoffey, he lives here in Mount Vernon. I'm kind of new to Mount Vernon because I moved a little while ago, but ever since I came to the school, I became more familiar with the area and surroundings. And I also like abstract art too, so another reason why this was picked out, why I had so much fun with painting it. My name is Joel Barkley. I'm going to the eighth grade, and my major is visual arts. This painting is of Michael Escoffey. He is a Jamaican artist. He does abstract art, realistic art, oil paintings, acrylic paintings, sculptures, and all that nice stuff. The details was hard to do, but I got it done. And the technique I used was um, blending and uh, shading. Um, art is my major because I've been drawing since I was little and I always wanted to be like an artist when I grew up. So I kept on practicing and practicing and I looked up videos on YouTube on how to draw realistic eyes and stuff, mouths, faces, and I was really committed in art when I was little. And when I joined the program two years ago, I thought, hmm, this is a chance for me to express my art and a, a chance to be, to be like, better in art in life, so when I grow up, I can be an artist that I want to be. Hi, I'm Sarah Green. I'm 11 years old, and I'm going to sixth grade. And my major is visual arts. The original artist of this painting is Michael Escoffey, and I chose this painting because it was more difficult for me to do, and I choose more challenging things for me so that I can learn more. I use the blending on the neck and the scumbling on the arm. And most of the painting is blending and um, shading. Um, this is my first year in the Arts Magnet School. And this year I'm looking forward to learning new techniques in art and learning different ways how to paint, sketch, and draw. The reason I chose art is my major because my family, we really love art, and um, I was the only one that used to like, love singing, so I wanted to change it up a little bit and try art for a little bit. And then I started, I started trying it, and I really liked it, so then I wanted to join the school, and my mom was proud because she knew I was good at drawing and sketching, and I mostly learned my stuff from her. The kids definitely enjoyed it. They definitely came out feeling successful, having a great time. I think they became familiar with a hands-on, real experience of the many elements of art. In elementary school, they often study line, shape, form, value, color in a very elementary kind of way. But to be able to work 
on uh, work that they, they have a professional artist's reference piece and they're trying to achieve a le level of uh, professionalism in their outcome and they have to consider all these elements of art um, in, in a real way, they begin to think about them in a much more mature and evolved kind of fashion. And, and the takeaway for them is really success from their applied knowledge and focus.